Hello, hello, welcome Tangeros to our YouTube channel, Miriam Leonardo Tango. In these new chapters of this series, how to create ending poses for social dancing, we are going to do a very cool one, which is crossing back. It can be for slow tango, or it can be even for milonga or more rhythmic tangos. Yeah, we both are going to finish crossing back. In the followers' case, will be the left leg. For the leader, will be the right. The right. But pay attention on the torso position. Okay, we are always going to be connect. Yeah, we are going to be taking a look of where we are coming from to land in this position very comfortably. Okay, let's go to the video. Yes, but before that, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Miriam Leonardo Tango, and activate the bell for notification. Also, let us know if you knew this post, if you mm -hmm. use it on the milonga, or if you have any new one that you like us to explain for you. Now, let's start with the video. Okay, now we are on the dance floor and we are going to show you the other pose, final pose that we have for social dancing. Which is a little more rhythmic. So, yes. Let us show you. So, yep. Bien. <laughs> what so, are we doing here? So, and again, this is more for rhythmic songs. It can be done with the slower, but it doesn't look as nice as when we are done, uh, using faster rhythm songs. Yeah, staccato is beautiful because mm -hmm. the effect of the crossing back, sharp, is very, very nice. And also, so, sorry, sometimes we use, uh, we normally use this pose in milonga. So if you are dancing mm -hmm. milonga, you yeah. can use it as well. Canchengue. Canchengue, milonga, even milonguero is very useful, this one. So, what are we doing? Let's do very, very slow so you can see the details. Coming from a side step, now leader will rotate the torso and send the left leg for the follower back to a cross. So for followers, we create that position only from hips to the feet. So upper body means upper body is still facing the leader and especially the right shoulder is very open. I have my face on my right side. It could be that you are here, but please don't look to your left side. That's not tango mm -hmm. argentino. Okay, so we go uh, facing with the right side, shoulder open on the right side, and left leg is back, and position of the hip is very rotated. So that will create the connection with the leader and uh, feel the final pose here. All right, now for the leaders, what are we doing here is when we take this step, we are coming from a side step, correct? So we are doing side, and this side step makes sure leaders to cr create it a little larger than hair, and you will see now why, now why. Because it's when we rotate and we pull, we want to be outside. Otherwise, we are going to be bumping with the knee. That's why you want to stay on the outside part. And we are not the one rotating a lot. We are crossing and opening the left shoulder blade so she crosses more than we do. Tuck. Yes, so she's crossing, creating a beautiful line. And for us, putting knee behind the other knee is perfectly fine. So I'm using my left shoulder blade and my face towards this side. One thing that we do, and it's very nice, you can use it, it's not mandatory, but we tilt a little bit the torso, not much, but a little bit. If it's straight, it doesn't look very natural. So it's a little more like tuck, a little tilting, a little curving movement. It's like the intention. Coming to the feet, right? Yes, it's like pam pam. So that's, that'll be nice to do. So with the dynamic, it will look something like this. We come and ram pam. Another thing that we are doing, sorry, is that I'm creating, pulling a little tuck, a little stronger. Yes, when we do the side step. Let me do it in regular speed. So you can see between the side step and the pulling that we go a little, little stronger. Pam pam. Did you, did you notice that there was a little tuck extra that will create the effect, nicer effect for the dynamic, so it doesn't look flat. In this uh, special ending pose, it's good if you can do it sharp, like mm -hmm. Leo was mentioning. Sharp, staccato, use it for uh, faster songs or milongas, canchengue. Uh, it doesn't work much when the music is, when the song is slow and romantic. It's better effect to do it sharp. Yeah. 
also why because uh, the hips if you do it in open position just yes. to show you right the hip that a very nice sharp effect to rotate from the side to the back see so have to be sharp and dry like it's not bouncy not not like this in this case of course it's not wrong but to make <laughs> it very effective try to do that position and we go and one and two so you try to make that position very sharp now regarding about the body weight where is the body weight when we finish in order to make it sharp we cannot transfer 100 percent of our body weight to the other leg let me do it by myself um pam because mm. it will sink it will be bad if you won't have you will drag the follower exactly so the other thing it will look too light mm. if we stay only on this leg we are putting body weight on the right for him left for her but let's put a percentage so mm -hmm. we are going to put like let's say 25 percent mm -hmm. here tuck on the back foot the rest is on the front yeah this is mainly to have balance Pack. yes if you notice a little bit of weight is fine not completely not nothing sometimes this happens and it's very 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 bad big toe 25 percent of your body weight yeah. on the back you know this is a very simple move yeah but if you listen to the video if you pay attention what are we talking about all the details it's not only that the move is a cross we are giving you uh, the style of argentine tango on this move see because like like men like leo mentioned if you do it up you're in the same position crossing back but it doesn't look like the style if you go back like you say transfer see i'm falling <laughs> forward so all the details we were giving you will create not only the stability the balance for the pose but also the styling yes. the argentine tango styling and keeping the and, lines the, yeah and what you like to end at the milonga when you end the song you like to use a pose like it's very secure safe pose not like um off axis position and then you and it's also not good for social dancing so this one is really good for social dancing because it's easier for the followers to understand the lead mm -hmm. and it's uh, good to follow the music when the music is very uh, sharp and it's finishing More rhythmic. A, like a sharp ending rhythmic and so yeah that's a i love this pose when <laughs> they're coming like from fast 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 tampa, that's a very nice pose to to use all right so that's set for today make sure again to before you leave put a thumbs up that will be very very much appreciated because you really help us to grow the channel yes and so we can keep creating new content for you yeah let us know if you have anything to tell us use the box on the comment below and we are reading every day and we are trying to answer all of you so we look forward to seeing you in the next one goodbye <laughs>